Perhaps you know of whom I speak. An old enemy of yours. The Goblin King is a grotesque yet flamboyant character, towering above the other goblins with his obese stature. While he was obviously disgusting, he also needed to be slightly endearing. Our texture and shader teams had to undergo some very unpleasant research to get the king's physical imperfections looking anatomically correct. We studied conditions like herpes, boils, gangrene, tumours, and countless rashes in medical journals. We went to the dark depths of our image library for cuts, burns, and bruises. The challenge then became laying out the various texture maps in a way that was suitably disgusting, but didn't overwhelm the performance. A prominent feature of the king is his neck wattle, which we simulated to hang with weight and gravity. His fat body also benefited from a simulation pass to give the appropriate amount of jiggle. We refined our facial puppet by transposing a number of Barry Humphrey's facial expressions onto the model. They ranged from condescending to suspicious, from cruel sarcasm to amusement, from triumph to fear to rage. We added custom controls to our facial system for his goiter, his scarred right eye and his wet lips. <laughs> to bring the king to life we combined Barry Humphrey's facial performance and lots of keyframe animation. We had to unify these inputs into a coherent performance that was funny and engaging whilst respecting his massive bulk. In addition to Barry's facial, we often layered in his head and body gestures, as they were so integral to the delivery of his dialogue. That'll do it. <laughs> 